break to get hydrated with Gatorade. And Steve and Clark and I are refreshed and ready to go here as well. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for Toronto. Boy, the three-point shot has really been dropping for him early on. And they're sharing the ball, too, which I love. They're piling up the assist. We're seeing great offensive movement. So on the floor for Washington. Find him out there with Otto Porter Jr. Then it's Rasul Butts. Then it's Kevin Serafin. Then it's Nene at the four spot. Bombers shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. The Raptors making a switch here. Lowry's checked in. Washington making some changes. Now Beal. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Here's Pierce. Paul Pierce, a 16-year veteran, and last season his first not in a Celtics uniform. He took some getting used to, both for him and for us. Paul Pierce, at one time a franchise talent and elite two-way player, now a self-described role player. He's a heck of a good one, too. A great score, shoot, drive, and get to the line. Here's what Toronto's going with right now. Johnson comes in for Terrence Ross, and it's to Rosen in for Lou Williams. All with it, Lowry picks him up. Wall against Lowry. Beal dishes to Gortat. Nails the wide open jump shot. Gortat's got his second bucket tonight. And Paul Pierce is always love those elbows. Yeah, and he's such a good ball handler. So crafty in getting to his spots and able to put the defense on its heels. Not overly athletic. He's never one to overwhelm you with athleticism. Man, can he play some basketball. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Doris Burke. Hey, Doris. Uh, thank you, Kevin. Well, DeMar DeRozan with great size at the shooting guard position. Recently, he's looked to exploit that advantage in the post. He said, quote, I look at guys like Kobe, and as they started to get older, they got better in the low block. I looked at it as, quote, if I get better at it now, that's going to be a benefit for me later. Guys, he's already seeing the dividends paid. Getting close range buckets and getting to the line, Doris. That's helping his efficiency. Thanks. And the basket good. And the Raptors lead by five. And assists like that have typified their effort today. Great ball move. Really an example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Wall, that's good. You know, if you were only looking at the way he's played offensively, I think his team would be ahead. Taking this has been this group's specialty. On your screen now are this month's field goal percentage lead. Fourth, Kyle Lowry. And, of course, Lewis Williams. Well, the offensive efficiency the past month for both these guys is just off the charts. I mean, they are playing with so much confidence. So it's Toronto now, following the basket by John Wall. Here's DeRozan. And, yep, finally dropped it. Rolling around the rim. DeRozan's got his second bucket. He presents a defender with a serious challenge, always. And Wall. Here we go now. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. You know, the height difference there is huge, but he canceled it out with great body control in the air. Exactly, Steve. He got to the hoop and wouldn't allow himself to be manhandled by the big boy. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Toronto shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Well, pretty good numbers for this club a year ago, Kevin. 78% as a team from the free throw line. Yeah, they had the kind of success from the line that would make any coach breathe a sigh of relief, guys. And the dunk by Humphreys. Stupendous rush to the rim and a mighty slam on the end of it. But through the teeth of some pretty soft D, I can't help but say that. Well, let's see how that impacts things here, because those kinds of plays sometimes Defense can be game changers on both sides. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on DeMar DeRozan. That's foul number two for him. Beal with a screen for Wall. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And now just a one-point Raptor lead. Three consecutive baskets have come right at the rim. The defense had better start buckling down and tightening up. Yeah, they're getting exposed right now. Now here's Wall. 11 points for him in that last game against Miami. And Kevin, his passing is what blew me away. I mean, to see him orchestrate their offense so impeccably, that was a sight to behold. Now here's Johnson. Foul. Oh, oh, my God. Johnson! 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 Oh, my God. Joh
<laughs> Magnificent and exquisite all rolled into one. How about we throw a little stupendous in there, too? You know I like that. <laughs> I'd say spectacular, too. Here's Wall. He's got 14. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on DeMar DeRozan. And that'll be his third foul so far. Already he's looking at his third foul. I think the coach will probably look to sit him down until the third quarter. Stoudemire's checked in for the Raptors. Williams comes in for Johnson. And a switcher also for Washington. And then they is checked in. With that shot, the Raptor lead is cut to just one point on the basket from Wall. Well, offensively, he's taking a solid opening quarter and just built on it here in the second. Well, the Wizards very high on their young athletic backcourt of John Wall and Bradley Beal. Both so young and lively, they can run the floor and score. I get the feeling they feel like the backcourt is really the foundation for this franchise. Here's Nene, and he overshot that one, missing. Looked like an easy two points right there. You know he's kicking himself for that. Good on the shot. That's now eight points for Kyle Lowry. Yeah, he's almost putting on a little show out there with that fadeaway jumper. And Beal with his great outside shooting, and nice compliment to John Wall. You know, you watch Wall, how much he's improved as a shooter, but he's best really attacking off the dribble. With Beal spacing the floor, I think they make a nice one-two punch. You know, there's no better sign of how efficiently a team is operating than their assist numbers. And theirs are fantastic. It's just beautiful basketball to watch, Clark. And it's Patterson finishing it off. Went for the two-hander on that slam. That's where the weight room comes into play, <laughs> yeah, Kevin. I think some urgency from him there. Yeah, he's sensing this is a critical time in this game, guys. Here's Wall. After Toronto picking up the basket just moments ago. And Beal hits the wall. Nene against Stoudemire. Nene into the lane. And that one's good. Nene's got it all tied up now for the Wizards. You know, when the size advantage is that pronounced, I mean, that's exactly what you should do offensively in this situation. Take it strong to the middle. The putback, and Stoudemire oh, slams it in. Tell you what, coaches love to see that kind of hustle, guys. I mean, getting after it on the offensive boards, that's always a winning play. Absolutely. Now, coaches love to see the hustle, but the fans love to see the dunk. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game. Here's Wall, and a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. That's on Patrick Patterson. The Wizards have gone six of nine at the line. Ross is checked in for Toronto. Harris comes in for Kyle Lowry. And then for Washington, Kevin Serafin is checked in for Gortat. Butler comes in for Paul Pierce. And it's Otto Porter Jr. in for Bradley Beal. How about that? Take a peek at that move. We don't get to see plays like that very often. No, we don't. You're right. Sailing in off the baseline for the reverse stuff. Yeah, boy, what a dunk. That is just special. Feeds to Butler. To the wing right side. With four seconds on the clock, Porter, no luck. I'll tell you what, for what's really a, an elementary shot, he looked a little nervous on that release. Second quarter ends in a tight one. Raptors lead by two. And now let's catch up with...